Hey guys, it's Galaxy Gorilla coming at you with the first episode of Total War Warhammer 3. For this campaign, I decided to do something I'm not really, you know, super comfortable with and try a faction I don't really play a lot of, and I'm going to play the Wood Elves. So, for this game playthrough, I decided to try out Durthu. I have played him probably the most of the Wood Elves, but even then that's I feel like that's just very little amount of time. Our starting army is pretty good. We've got, you know, the main man himself, the biggest tree around. The largest tree in the woods, Durthu. He's a really cool character. I don't know too, too much of his lore and, like, the actual Warhammer fantasy battle story, but I know he's pretty awesome in this game. We do get a Life Spell Slinger. I think she's really good. A lot of her endgame magics, all of this, especially, which one is it? It's um, the Dwellers Below. I know that's a really good spell. Got some pretty good, you know, just Dryad units. The ranged units for this faction, as always, is crazy. And the big tree boys. Let's quickly go through our technology. A couple other things. And then we'll get into the first battle. Alright. Well, obviously we're going to take this. And then which pathway do we want to take? Be building more income and more armor for elven units. Mm, additional forest health. I don't think that would be smart um, if we did all that. I would say probably just go for just up to here for now just more like income and just more uh forest health because i know that's one of their big mechanics let's check the waterfall palace real quick obviously we're gonna want more tree men i do have the radius mod uh on uh and a couple others too i will post a, a link in the description for those but we do have some new units so let's get those started booting up as well Okay, so that's right. Everything costs, like, a lot of money for these guys. I remember that. So maybe first thing I should do is actually start off just with a, like, a money building. Is that a good idea, though? We'll probably want, like, higher tier units in our army, though. But if we can't keep up with, like, money and such, maybe it's not a good idea. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that first. Because we do have some growth going in, and that gives us in uh, resources and income. Okay. Alright, I think that's enough on the campaign map. Let's jump into our first battle with Brock Iron Pick. Obviously, the first battle is always the easiest, but we're also we're always going to play it out, just because we like to see those units in action. So, I've been playing this series for a really long time, from the release date of the first one all the way up until now. And I will say, I love this game series. I've probably got more than a thousand hours over the span of all three games. And I am just looking forward to whatever else they put into the game. Now, like I said, I'm playing a faction that I'm not usually super comfortable with. I've never really played too much of the Wood Elves. I do like the idea of them, but I just never really, you know, I, w I guess I would say I was a little afraid of just trying them. So let's see what we can get done. Alright, so with how their forces are split up, we're going to want to get their ranged units tied up immediately. So maybe we'll do this. We'll have these guys, and then, yeah, okay, okay, I like that. We'll have these guys right here at the forefront. We'll put the big tree dudes right here, but we'll also put more big tree dudes here. Durthu will be right at the front, and then we will pop our archers, our tree man, and our spellcaster right over here. I don't think that's forgetting anything. I think that's all of it. All right, let's get started start the battle. We're going to quickly pause it just real quick. Let's let Durthu do his magic missile. Strong versus a single unit. Alright, cast that on the enemy lord. These tree boys are going to be rushing here. We want you... Actually, um... You know what? Okay, okay. Better idea. Better idea. You guys go there. You go there. You go there. And then our big tree boys are going to rush into those quarrelers. And then Durthu's already got his orders to go do that. We're going to want to just smash apart their range units as quickly as possible, and then we're also going to want him moving up. I don't want the um, Nymph Lady in range to fight. I just kind of want her providing her moral support. All right. Let's get into this. Let's rush in. Let's watch the charge. The trees versus the dwarves. I wonder how much Durthu's attack will do to him. Let's see. Let's see. It didn't hit him at all, but you know what? It hurt those guys, so we'll call it a win. I will say Flock of Doom is such an awesome, like, ability. I feel like it's one of, like, the best spells in the game. 
How are we doing on fighting right now? You know what, honestly? Um, that's... Yeah, these guys right here. We'll wild form them. Alright, alright. Honestly, going so pretty good so far. I want Durthu killing their lord. We want to smash their morale as quickly as possible. Oh! <laughs> Dude, I could not imagine being, like, a tiny little dwarf and just this tree man who is, like, seven times the size of me just annihilating me. I'll have you get a little closer and then cast a little magic just because I don't want us to hit our own dudes. Nice. Good damage in the back. Just mashing their morale. Archers feel like they're really, like, really, cl <laughs> really close, but you know what? Whatever works. Boom. Drop down another flock of doom. All of our units are pretty healthy right now, too. I'd say everything's going pretty well so far. What are you doing? I th I don't know if the ranged units are still, like... I'm not going to say, like, they're... I don't think they're broken, but I think they might be, like, a little broken. Because, um, even if they get into... Like, even if they're in range with something, they'll still try to, like, move to where they are to shoot them. Alright, let's see if we can get a another shot in with Brock. See if Durthu will do his big blast directly in on these dwarves. Come on, Durthu. Do it. Do it, Durthu. Do it. Or just, you know, don't do it. That's that's cool. Okay. Just go back to killing them, please. Alright, what's the situation with our units right now? We'll buff up those guys. Throw out another. Another good old flock of doom. Archers are shooting. These guys are chasing them down. Is there anything else we need to clean up? Not just shooting into their faction lines. Alright, beautiful. Easy first victory. Very little casualties. Let's end it off. Alright, alright. I think I can get down with playing this campaign. Because at this point, like, alright, we just smashed apart that army pretty well. They've got, like, nothing left. But, I mean, obviously, it being the first army means it's just going to vanish once it's, um, once it's all gone. And then we can move up to their settlement and maybe start that out as a settlement battle. So, as the Wood Elves, I wonder, like, okay, so besides allying with the other Wood Elves around you, I wonder what... Like, I wonder what allies I can pick up. Like, I wonder if I if we'll like jump up on the order tide and like ally up with like the empire and stuff. That could be the case. Amber is obtained each time the wood elves complete a ritual of rebirth to heal a forest when they win. Okay. Um, I know you do have to collect those, but replenish army unit experience. Let's get some unit XP. We want to like make our dudes stronger. That's kind of interesting that um. We've got these guys right here, these orcs. Okay, wow. Ooh, Empire starts with a lot more than I thought. And they like don't like okay, that's that's a little that's a little scary. They don't like us. Okay, we need four thousand gold. Alright, let's upgrade some stuff first. Um uh, we've got two points because that is one of the mods we have. More campaign range. I think we'll I get to overcamp. Yeah, we want that and Flock of Doom, just because it's really nice, and she doesn't have a level yet. What can we do for commandments? We get research rate, control, corruption, income, construction costs for all buildings, income from trade tariffs, recruitment costs, and then growth. And then, I think, that's kind of tough. Let's see if we can blaze through the research tree real fast. So, Radius, I know... Okay, yeah, and we also have... I'm sorry, the Oak of Ages. Okay, so that's even more research rate. That's nice. So, um, what I know from, like... It seems like they moved a lot of stuff... I know, um... Radius said that they moved a lot of stuff around, but they moved a lot of stuff around. Jeez. They let you see all the forests and stuff. Alright, alright, alright. Let's move on. Then. Let's go take... Let's see if we can take, uh, Carrick Norn. This is going to be a siege battle. It's a valiant defeat. Let's take a quick peek at the map. See what I have to deal with. Yeah, it's just a straight up like siege battle. I could try to siege it down for a turn, or I could just go for it. 
I'm not sure what would be like the best bet for this. Can I build a tower in a single? Oh, I can build a tower in a single turn. Um, sure. You know what? Let's let's siege. Let's siege for a turn. Let's siege for a turn. And then that will let us get uh, the craftsman trio finish. Okay. Because I know like it's hard to find allies as these guys, just because like we're isolationists and nobody really likes us. Like, look at that. They've got a version. They've got a version. They have a version, and they don't like the fact that we're, like, arguing with Karak Norn. Uh, I mean, the other Wood Elves just don't really care about you, which I think is a little silly, but whatever. I think they're most likely just going to be, like, your biggest allies throughout, like, the, um, the game. Until you start, like, confederating them and stuff. Oh, wow. Ooh, they just created a bunch of armies. Okay, so that is happening right now. We're going to want to go over there, but at the same time, we're going to want to smash open Carrick Norn. What is the plan here? What is the plan here? Wow, that's a, that's a really dieseled up garrison. Jeez. Yeah, it's because they've got a tier 3 settlement and a tier 2 uh, goblin watchtower. That's why it's so big, but that's that's fine. We can upgrade some stuff at the Waterfall Palace. I think we just want to be, like, making more money. I feel like that's, like, the big goal, so we want to be making more money right now, just so we can, like, support a bigger, stronger army. Um, what does it, what is this? Okay, so this is money. Speed, armor piercing, but, no, I think that's bad. Armor piercing, weapon damage, bone, aspect of the oak, less speed, and charge defense versus large. I actually, I really like that one. I like aspect of the oak. Yeah, we'll go for that. Make our boys a little bit tankier. Do you guys have the same type of thing? Willow, oak, and then birch. Okay. What does this look like? This is still a valiant defeat. Okay, we'll siege for one more turn, and then we'll we'll um we'll start fighting them. And then once we take that, we're gonna have to jump over the wall and deal with um whatever is happening over there the um the forest encounters because if i remember correctly if you let those sit for too long those pop those pump out armies and i don't really want to deal with that that seems really annoying it'll mean having to trespass on paveron but i mean do i really care about that probably not all right um does anybody around here like us you don't like me Obviously, you guys like me because I'm killing these dwarves. Hmm. You have a level up now, so yeah, let's just let's just go straight for Awaken the Woods. And then this is now a Pyrrhic victory. Do I do I feel like I could get a better outcome out of this, or no? That's the real question. Do I feel like I could get a better outcome out of this? And I feel like the answer to that is maybe, maybe. Um, hmm. We do have two towers now. That could give us a good advantage. I'm not sure. I'll just I'll just hit the auto resolve. I trust it a little bit more. It's a little bit crappier. And then we'll clear the hearthland. We'll get some more money. That's gonna eat up all of my It's gonna eat up all of my stuff, but I think that's fine. We're going to get some more points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just max out spells for right now, and then we can figure out what to do next from there. And then we can start getting you some healing. Nice, nice, nice. Basically just upgrade. Well, not everything, but what we can. And then we can call it an end turn for this one. All right, we're making some good cash, honestly. I think that's going to pop next turn or the turn after that and that's going to be a little hard to deal with i wonder what kind of army is going to come out of that hmm i'm not too sure honestly i know it's dwarven i know it's a dwarf army ah oh, please don't pop this turn Okay, it pops next turn, which kind of sucks, because I 
I can't get over there to deal with that right this instant, which is a little annoying. Yeah, we'll grab that, because why not? Orion is over here. We can't recruit because we just did the jump over. Okay, that kind of sucks. All right. Let's see what comes out of there. It's going to be a dwarf army, I know that. Let's see how strong it is. It might be really strong just because I let it get to its full, like, growth. So I'll have to keep that in mind for uh, later on. Okay, so he's raiding them at this point because he doesn't like them. Ooh, there's a landmark there. What does that do? Oh, dang. That's not bad. Okay, show me what comes out of their game. Let me see. Whew, I don't like that. Oh boy, that's a that's a scary looking army. Okay, okay. Uh, branch nymphs, forest spirit, anti-infantry, damage dealer, poison attacks. Okay, so they're like just they're just straight up better. They're just straight up better dryads. Got it. Okay. So let's get let's get um let's get some more archers, and we can't afford it. Okay, 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 okay. Let me think. Let me think. I think we cancel this for right now, just for the sake of getting a better army as a whole. We'll get some more treekin, and then we can recruit one more. Uh, do I want to just get straight more treekin? You know what? Yeah, let's do, let's do two units treekin. All right, let's see what Tecton Iron Hammer does. I'm not a big fan of him having like just big, strong, like, artillery. Maybe you're not supposed to take Karagnorn. Maybe you're supposed to, like, jump over the wall and, like, just come over and take this real quick and then go back over. That might be the case. Orion just died. Good, jo good job. Good job, Orion. Two, uh, two thumbs up from your big guy, Durthu, over here. You gotta be a little more careful, bro. You can't go dying like that. Okay, where is the army moving? That's my question. Okay, they're straight up in our territory now. I'm a little worried because I don't want to trespass with the Daith dudes. Um, can I, uh, can I help you, homeboy? You're, like, in my lands, bro. That's a lot of catapults. That's really annoying. Let's see what the odds of this fight is. It's a Pyrrhic victory, and we lose no units. Like I said, this is one of those situations where I'm not, like, really super sure if I would be able to play this out better. But you know what? Here, let's autosave. Oh, boy. Flame cannons. Siege arch. No, we're done. <laughs> no, no. Um, I, I don't want this campaign ending in, like, failure. Am I trespassing? No! I'm sorry! I didn't mean to trespass. It was but an accident. Let's get rid of the... Um. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's get rid of these just because um, we have better ones. We'll just go for like a full recruitment on that, and then we can also upgrade these for more money. And then at this point, that's uh oh, that's a, that's a lot. <sighs> Armor piercing damage. Actually, that's kind of nice. Hmm. Okay, yeah, we'll go for that. We want foe seeker that just like all the basic stuff, and then growth of the forest control and growth. Um, ambush success chance control corruption, and then more. Mo okay, yeah, more money, more money. I think that's good. And then she's got some points. Life, bloom, evasion. Then we can get the first point in the dwellers below. All right, nice. Okay. All right, no, this is looking pretty good so far. Our units are starting to get that experience built up. Let's throw out that end turn. I don't think this is going so bad so far. I think this is going pretty good. I'll do maybe one or two more turns, and then we can call it a day for this video. But honestly, I'm really enjoying the Wood Elves so far. But, Gorilla, you've only 
you've only played one battle. You've auto resolved the other two. I mean, yeah, but don't worry. I'll I'll play more battles. I will. I promise. Yeah, no, I've like, I've I have a bad habit of with uh, my campaigns and such, just going in circles of me auto resolving, auto resolving, auto resolving, getting into a bad position where I just kind of get screwed and I can't do anything. And I don't want that to happen again. I'd like to actually like get nice and deep into these campaigns. Maybe do the short victory, even go for the long victory. Who knows? Okay, so at this point, what I would like to do is I would like to get rid of Karaknorn and start colonizing this area up here. I think that's I think that's my big goal. That is a full army, and Orion is Orion just doesn't care. Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say Orion, are you good, bro? Nah, he's good, bro. Um, do we want to put some? Do we want to put some elves in the army, too? Because I don't want too many... I don't want too many just straight-up melee units, but these could be, like, really good, having them be, like, a front line for the branch nymphs. You know what? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go for, like, a nice, strong, like, beefy front line. I think that'd be smart. We'll do one more return of recruiting, and then we'll start jumping over the walls and heading over to Carrick Norn. Look, guys, my impre my 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 relations are improving. He likes me because I killed the the dwarf. Okay, so it seems like the Empire secessionists are gone, and they've been replaced by this orc faction. I think um when the end turn like rolls over, I'll open up their diplomacy to see who they're at war with, both uh the Empire and these guys. Dude, I don't know what it is, but it seems like the like the Empire just hates us. I I did not mean to trespass with these guys. I kinda hope that doesn't like ruin their my relationship with them. I'd really not want to fight my own guys. You'd think like you would start with like that type of stuff, like all of, I don't know. Like you think you would start with um not non aggression packs, but um what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Why can't I remember? The, um... Oh, why am I brain farting? The, uh... The access. The military access. Alright, who are you at war with? You are at war with... You are at war with... Just the war herd of the One-Eye. Okay, that's interesting. And then, what about you? Who are you at war with? You're at war with Caron. Okay. Interesting. Okay, do we want to just go for one more turn of recruitment? Just to, like, have, like, the fully filled out army? That might be the best decision. Because... What, what is that disgusting mess I see before my eyes? Quick! Quick! Grab every dwarf warrior you can! Quick! We gotta go! We gotta go! I, okay, so this that actually could turn out really well. If they, like, run up and, like, colonize Karak Norn, I can, like, just jump over and kill them, and I won't have to spend the colonization fee. That is Clan Engrind. I don't like that. That is just straight up Belagar Iron Hammer. I don't know if I could beat his army in a fight. I don't know how he's affording a full-on army right now. That's, uh, that's not game accurate. You can't afford a full army as Belagar Iron Hammer. That's like one of the like I, I that's one of like the bigger reasons I've been turned off to like playing him is just straight up his army. Like if you don't have Karig eight peaks, it just it just like your armies cost so much to field. Okay, okay, we've got a new a new one. Why like you you have okay, d does anybody want to deal with me? Speak your lies and be Just you, glory. and you want money for it. It's not a lot of money, but it's still like I don't know. No, I'm I'm good. I'm not gonna pay. Orion. So like, okay, this is like annoying because like I want to go touch this real quick, but at the same time I don't want to like trespass and piss them off. But whatever. 
Unhappy tree spirits, green skins punished. You will face a foe in battle, abundant growth, forest health for Athaloran. Decide later. Um, I mean, I don't really care about the green skins. Because it's just exactly that. Green skins? Yeah, let's just kill them. Um, this is just like, yeah, this is just garbage. <laughs> like a big, smelly garbage army. More XP, please. Take a step back into our territory. And then what can we do for upgrading? We got the money to upgrade that again. You take me for a I do take you for a Wazik. Alright, um... Yep, let's get another point into that. Is there anything else we want from here, or do we want to start... Hmm... Is it melee attack and defense? No, it's just straight up, like, just weapon strength and stuff. I might ignore that for right now. And is there anything I want from here? Anything I want from here in the magic tree? I mean, I have, like, Flock of Doom, and that's really what I want. So what do I want to do now? Um, Obviously, yeah, we want to get that. The Piercing Thorns for better stuff right there. Ancient Bark. More armor for those types of units to make them stronger. What is it? It's armor and physical resistance? That could be kind of good. Yeah, I'll put a point into that. And then let's make Durthu hit harder. For Magic Lady, we want to pump those points and then just quickly grab this stuff here. Alright, nice. Cool. Wait, what are these? Martial Mastery. Okay. Defensive Dedication. Okay, those are the, Okay, so those are skill dumps. Got it. Okay, and then upgrading will allow us to get... We, okay, we can't go higher than that, which is fine. We'll get there later. What we could do is kick one of these guys out and then get the regiment. Oh, okay. You know what? I haven't played Radius in a while. I totally forgot about... I'm stupid. Ah, okay, okay. So you can get... <laughs> Oops. Okay, so you can get more of them, but you need to you need to wait. Okay. My bad, my bad. I you know what? I have not touched the radius mod since Total Warhammer 2. So back then you could like straight up just recruit those 3. And that is not the case anymore. So <laughs> oops, my bad. So I'm guessing Belagar wanted that for himself and he can't get it now which is which is good we got grom the paunch like rolling around over there and i'm like trespassing all over my dude stuff and i assume that's just angering them okay grom the paunch is already wine that what he just got his wa target i want to deal with Carrick norn first and once Carrick Norn is dealt with, then I will move on to somewhere else. But I think I'm starting to remember why I didn't like the Radius stuff too much. Because it seems like these guys have... Quest has been issued, what, you, oh, what you got for me? A great Adventure. Beckons. Great adventure. The for Sword of Daith? So um... No, I'm I'm okay for right now. I I'll keep that in mind for a little bit later. So he's got just armies of just garbage. So I'm assuming you won't Okay, so you won't peace out with me, which makes sense. But at the same time is annoying. Alright, I can upgrade these guys. I do want to just give them that aspect of the oak. I think I'll just probably do the same thing with these guys. The same aspect of the oak. It's a lot of money spent. But I think I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. Armor piercing damage bonus versus infantry. Or do I just want to make expert charge defense? What does uh what does that give them? Charge defense versus large. Okay. So that all right that that's that, all right that's pretty good against large foes and so okay actually you know what what might be a little bit better 
is um, getting the uh, this one because it's more melee defense. You, we lose a little of armor piercing, but overall we gain infantry bonus. And right now their army is nothing but infantry. So let's make the jump and start battling. See what we can do about taking these lands. I assume you hate me. Oh, actually, you don't care that I'm killing them. That's kind of interesting. I feel like you don't see that too much. All right, hit the end turn right there. Okay, so he's sieging it back from Grom. I wonder if that would be pretty. Hu that would be a huge loss for Grom if he like couldn't overtake that. I wonder. If oh, I don't know. I wonder if Brock Iron Pick will jump back over the wall. He might. Oh no, they were able to. Mm, they were able to knock him back. Interesting. But it seems... Okay, so Orion is moving up over there, too. Is Orion at war with Grom? He has to be. Like, honestly, like, I'm, I'm like, really flying blind right here. I've never really touched the Radius mod before, so I'm, like, not too sure what's going to come of this. Okay, so Karak Norn is kind of, like, all over the place right now. They're... I feel like they're scared of me, so they... They, they don't want to... They don't want to, like, mess around with me right now. Are you at war with Grom? You are not at war with Grom. Interesting. You're improving. Everybody's improving. You're just mad that I trespassed with you by accident. But everybody's still improving, so that's good. Okay, we are making use of Elven units, so I will put uh, jump over to that, too. Alright, how many more turns until this upgrades, too? Okay, not bad, not bad. That's going to take a little bit, but we'll get there. Okay, we'll switch back to this. Carrick Norn. It has, like, the basic garrison. We'll hit this up. Dragomint. How is that a close victory? That's some baloney. With low casualties. Um, I could try to wait for them to come on over to me and see if I could just do, like, a huge battle out in the open. That could be pretty good for me. Because, um, at this point in time, their armies are just just giant infantry blobs like that's it because they don't have anything else to like recruit which I, I I don't really understand how they don't have anything else to recruit but I I don't know what is that that's one two three three army it's just so much infantry um you know what so he'll peel back he'll run away we can't catch him, so we'll just jump to Norn. This now is a decisive victory because he's gone, and then we will... You know what? We'll occupy this. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. So that's another thing. I guess these are now, like, straight up, like, full garrisons? Bro, that's, that's actually crazy. Okay, all right. Radius actually doing something kind of cool for once. Nice. Right, the defense building, and then we don't really need to recruit right now, so we kind of just probably want some money. I actually. All right, we got some points. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's go full in. Let's just straight up diesel these guys up, make them super tanky and super hard to kill. And then we're gonna grab arcane conduit, and then what else do we want? What else do we want from this? Um. That's magic items, cleansing corruption. What else do we want for you to have? I think we just want your spells, just all of them. There's no reason not to have more of them. All right, all right, not bad, not bad. Not gonna lie, not bad. How is the Oak of Ages doing? How much, okay, so you just, that's, that's so much money. Holy cannoli. Let's see what he does. He might straight up just come after me, but I'm really not too sure. I don't know if he... I, like, okay, realistically, if he, if he comes after me, I don't know if he wins that. I doubt it. Let's see how it goes. Not gonna lie. I really... I'm really enjoying the Radius updates. The Radius updates actually, like... I'm not gonna say, like, they make it more enjoyable, but it's definitely really fun. There were, like, mods I really wanted to use that just don't work. 
aren't like compatible with Radius. One of them that I think is super awesome is the Nagash mod. But, so, there's, like, something wrong with the Nagash mod. Whenever you try to, like, load into a battle, if you auto-resolve and you just stick to the map, you're fine. But as soon as you start, like, auto-resolving, or, I'm sorry, as soon as you start entering a battle, you're just, like, the, the game crashes all the time and it's really annoying. What is this? What is this? Are you coming at me, bro? You're coming at me with 10 million dwarves, bro? Oh no, I lose my garrison? Get that out of here! We lose our... That, that's... No, 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 no. Get out of here with that. It's telling me I lose half my army. No, 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 no way. Telling me I lose half my army to that baloney. No way, no how. No, because it's literally just let Durthu run up and just beat him up. Unless this is like a, like a special hero. I don't think it is. Alright. Yeah, where's... Okay, so we need... We want Durthu and we want just the missile units. You know what? No, dude. We're gonna, like, romp around on him with all our boys. Go. Go get him. Go. Go mollywop him. Do it. Okay. I don't want Forbidden Rod. That sounds awful. Go. Go kick his butt. Go kick his butt. Boom. Surround him. It's clobbering time. This this dwarf is like, I will win the day. Oh! Oh, there's so many trees! Oh! Yeah, I don't know what you're thinking, bro. There is no way, no how, I'm gonna be losing units to something like this. Get out of here, game. <laughs> no way, bro. Just clobber this loser to death. Don't let him escape. This man is done for. I want him gone. I want him crushed beneath my feet. And he's dead. Game trying to tell me he kills my army. Sorry, Thorthy. Thorthy True Eye. You're not getting a single kill. And Durthu struck the final blow. I'm I love it. That's poetic. I don't know how, but it is. Alright, um I think that's gonna be it for this one. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>